before Clutch and company could return home from their last adventure, an urgent cablegram sent them winging across the ocean. A cable from Sandy McTavish, heir to the McTavish Castle that stands on the shores of the western highlands of Scotland. A castle that has been in Scotty's family for centuries. I've heard of the McTavish Castle for years. It's supposed to be haunted. They were going on a ghost hunt? Riot! Well, you could call it that. But I've never met anyone who's actually seen a ghost. You see, no one has lived in the castle for over a hundred years. So, people believe it's haunted. Golly, are we going into the castle, Clutch? That's the idea, Splinter. We'll find out more when we talk to Scotty. There's Bonnie Scotland ahead, Splinter. Golly, it's pretty, isn't it? But it looks kind of lonesome, too. Yes, yeah, Splinter. The Highlands have a strange, wild history. And if there are ghosts anywhere, this is where they'd be. Look, Clutch, there's the castle. Right, Spinner. And over in that field is where we land. Scotty said he'd meet us. His little stone house is at the edge of the field. With the centuries-old castle in the background, Clutch lands the plane and taxis close to Scotty's house. No one around that I can see. That looks like the gingerbread house in the forest, where Hansel and Gretel were caught by the witch. <laughs> well, I promise you, Scotty's no witch. He's a wonderful man. Let's look for him. I love a lassie, a bonny, bonny lassie. She's as sweet as the heather in the dell. Somebody's singing. Is that Scotty? That's him, all right. And there he is on the porch now. Hoot, man, it's you, Clutch Cargo. I was never so glad to see anyone in my life. You sound pretty happy, Scotty. I only sing to keep my spirits up. Things are pretty bad. Scotty, this is Spinner. <laughs> and Paddlefoot, my two wonderful pals. Ah, you're a wee lad and a wee pup to be helping an old man like me. You'd be surprised how much help they really are. Tell us more about your trouble. Weird things happening, Clutch. That's my trouble. I haven't been near the castle since that terrible day. What terrible day? The day I went inside the castle to look around. There I was in my own castle, minding my own business, when suddenly pictures began to dance, and there was the sound of chains rattling, the walls and the floor started to move. Ghosts, real ghosts, appeared on the staircase to the tower. And of all the moaning and groaning, it sounded like a wrestling match. Golly, Mr. Scotty, what'd you do? That's just it. Nothing hurt me. And to this day, I don't know how I got out. When I came to my senses, I was here on this porch. Somebody doesn't want you in the castle, that's for sure. It's them ghosts. They're the ones. But, Scotty, there are no such things as ghosts. I never believed in ghosts either, Clutch. But I saw them with my own eyes. <gasps> Weird, white, dancing ghosts. Will Clutch and company be safe in the haunted castle? Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. Cargo with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot and another exciting adventure, The Haunted Castle. You remember last time, Clutch and company had arrived in Scotland at the Haunted Castle. They had met an old friend, Scotty McTavish, to whom the castle belonged. Well, the castle rightfully belongs to you, Scotty, and we came to help, so let's start. The terrible laughter and the noise is what scares you. And look out for the ghosts. Boy, that's an old castle. Do you think it's okay for us to go in? I think we can take a chance, Spinner. But stay close to me. Clutch, did you hear that noise? Must be the wind blowing around the tower. There's the entrance to the castle. Gee, and look at that funny looking face. They carved it like that to frighten enemies away. Golly, he sure would. Let's go on into the castle. Clutch, that statue, it moved. I 
didn't see anything. Looks the same to me. Huh. Imagination can play tricks on you sometimes. Let's go on in. Okay, Clutch. As Clutch and company stand inside the castle, figuring out their next move... Clutch! Look! We're locked in! I... Oh, Clutch! I'm scared! Steady, Spinner. It's all right. How are we gonna get out? These walls are plenty solid, all right. That iron gate is locked for sure. Stay close to me, Spinner. We'll look around. I'm right behind you. I think the vibration of our walking caused it to fall. Why? That suit of armor is all metal. Did they really wear those things? You bet they did, Spinner. According to history, a knight in shining armor was a sight to see. They fought on horseback with a long pole called a lance. The only trouble was that when someone was knocked off his horse, the armor was so heavy he couldn't get up. Gosh, I'm glad we don't have to wear one up, Halifus. There's a door up ahead. Wonder where it goes. Golly, I hope it isn't a dungeon or something. We'll see in a moment. These pictures are centuries old. Boy, they sure must have used good paint. And look at that chair. Betcha it's a real throne. The king must have used that. Could be, Spinner. Did Paddlefoot and I rest a minute? Go ahead. But what's this? A picture on the wall behind Clutch with eyes that move. Someone's watching every move. Look, Clutch, I'm the king. I'll say you're the king. What the? Spinner. Spinner, where are you? Paddlefoot. Spinner. ever find Spinner and Paddlefoot? Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. Clutch Cargo with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot and another exciting adventure, The Haunted Castle. You remember last time, Clutch and company found themselves locked in the haunted castle. Strange things happened as they wandered around. In a small room, Spinner and Paddlefoot sat in the king's chair, and suddenly they disappeared. Spinner! Paddlefoot, where are you? They couldn't have gone very far. While Clutch calls and searches frantically for the vanished Spinner and Paddlefoot, she got into a long, sliding chute. Wow! You all right, Paddlefoot? Bark loud and I'll holler. Maybe Clutch will hear it. Help! Clutch! Get down here, Clutch! I just couldn't have gone far. Spinner, can you hear me? Clutch! Help! I'm down here! Help! It's them. They sound so far away. That chair, I wonder... As the eyes in the picture watch, Clutch searches the chair and finally sits down. I wonder where the... Clutch! Here we are! Phew. That's quite a surprise drop. Sure glad you two are all right. This whole castle must be loaded with secret passageways and things. We've got to watch every move we make. Boy, I'll say. and company watch the fish. A door slides silently open. A dark figure glides across the room and disappears into the opposite wall. But look, the figure dropped something, a parchment with a message. We better start trying to find a way out of here. Yeah, golly, I almost forgot we were still in a haunted castle. <laughs> 
These walls feel solid. No way out here. Hey, you dropped something, Clutch. This funny-looking piece of paper. Paper? I didn't have any paper with me. Let me see that. This isn't paper spinner. It's parchment and real old. Sure wasn't here when we got here, Clutch. Somebody's been in this room since we arrived here. Let's see what the writing says. Ring around the oak tree, 60 inches from the center. Point due north and look ahead for something you can enter. Once inside, you'll look around for something that you beat. You're getting closer all the time to a fascinating treat. Now, underneath the thing you beat, you'll find a little door. Just raise it up and enter, and soon you'll know the score. Golly, Clutch, that's really a puzzle. Wonder what it means. I wish I knew, Spinner. In any event, we've got to be careful. It might lead us right into another trap. Clutch, cl Clutch, that wall, it's moving, look! Stand back, Spinner. Who can it be? Is it the ghost of McTavish Castle? Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Punch Cargo. Clutch Cargo, with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot, and another exciting adventure, The Haunted Castle. Last time, Clutch and company, after sitting in the king's chair, ended up beneath the castle. Spinner found a piece of parchment on which was written a poem, a real puzzle. As they were about to find a way out, the wall suddenly opened. So you're the ghost of the castle. I'm not a ghost. I'm Sky McTavish. Scotty, how did you get here? I was worried. Decided to find you. Let me down, Clutch. You get into this cellar through a tunnel from my house. Look what we found, Mr. Scotty. It's some sort of limerick. Let's get out of here. I'll bring it to you along the way. Follow me, laddies. And we'll get out of here in a hurry. Yeah! I'm all right. Go through the tunnel to my house. Clutch and company raced through the tunnel to Scotty's house. And it was easy to see that Scotty was back. Hey, Scotty. What kept you? I'm drying myself off. How'd you get here so fast? The underground river comes out right back of my house. Someone's trying to make it tough for us, all right. I'll tell the world, give me a bath and it's not even Saturday night. Now, what did that paper say? It says, ring around the oak tree 60 inches from the center. Well, the only oak tree for miles around here is way over on the other side of the castle. Do you have a car? You bet. Finest little car you've ever seen. There she is. Gee, can we all get in? You bet. All aboard. We'll head straight for the old tree. The directions on this parchment must be some sort of test for you, Scotty. Whoever dropped it wanted us to find it. Right between those two mounds is the roof of a house. Look for something you can enter. That's it. Oh, boy, the plot gets thicker. Come on, fellas, let's go. That's a little storage house right behind the castle. Now it says, once inside, you look around for something you can beat. Doors open, Clutch, look. Drums. Something you can beat. I don't think the limerick means drum. It's too easy. What else can you beat in here? The rug, Clutch. You beat a rug when you clean it. Good boy, Spinner. I'll raise the rug. There's, There's the, the door. door. Just raise it up and enter, and soon you'll know the score. Here goes. Golly, those awful noises again. Clutch, I'm scared. Me too. That's the idea. Someone's trying to make it as tough as they can. Come on, let's go. They enter the tunnel, and the noises stop. There it is, Clutch. It says, the score. Pick one. For which one? So far, we haven't found anything much. So let's choose the nothing to nothing score. Here it is, Clutch. Here's a note on the back. It says, you chose the right one, 
Hope you have fun. P.S. Look behind you. Ghost of McTavish Castle. A ghost. A real ghost. And right in their way. Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. McTavish followed the instructions written on the parchment and ended up in a small room at the end of a tunnel. Here they found the score. As they read the last line, it's the ghost of McTavish Castle. It's gone. And the trap door is closed. Gosh, we're locked in here. Good man, maybe there's another way out. Maybe. But there's more writing on this note. It says, in the tunnel is another clue. There's another sliding door. It's opening. Whoa. A secret stairway. Come on, fellas, up we go. At the top of the stairs, they find another door. This must be the briefing room for the battles. Look at the armor. Looks mighty bright and shiny. Somebody's been keeping it in good condition. I don't know who, Clutch. Nobody's lived here for over a hundred years. This one wants to shake hands. Oh, this is There's nothing to be afraid of. Here's what operates your ghosts of the Caddish Castle. Electricity, look, wires. Good look, Clutch. There's a glass plate in the floor here. There's the main hall of the castle down there. Anyone up here could watch whoever came in. Someone's crying. Aye, it's the real ghost of McDavish Castle. Who are you? What are you doing in that suit of armor? <laughs> you spoiled my fun. <laughs> Looks like we've outghosted the ghost. There now, Mr. Ghost, it can't be as bad as all that. Grandpa McTavish. Aye, it's me, your old grandpa. But we thought you were lost at sea. Aye, lad, that's what I wanted everybody to think. I had a ship full of treasure, gold and jewels. The crew left me when they couldn't find the treasure. One dark night, took my treasure off the ship and brought it to the castle. Golly, a real treasure? Aye, son, I hid the treasure here in the castle. Then I wired all the sliding doors and some of the boards in the floor. So when anyone stepped on those boards, things moved, and we heard those terrible noises. Right. <laughs> I saw some mighty scared people. But that's the only way I can protect my treasure. You mean the treasure is still here? Aye, and very close to us right now. I want Scotty to have it. But I wanted him to work to find it. Well, I'm going to start looking, but first, I'll put my pipe out. As Scotty taps the tobacco from his pipe, suddenly the fireplace rises and... Look! The treasure! There's the treasure, son, and it's all yours. Thanks to Clutch and Company. Without you, I would never have found it. Aren't they nice, Clutch? They gave me this sword with jewels in it. You bet. And Paddlefoot came out well, too. He's, He's the king. king! And so ends the story with Clutch Cargo and his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot and the Haunted Castle. Be sure to tune in for the next exciting adventure with Clutch Cargo.